next week. That's all I've got. Then the form vanishes, and so does that earring. Really? Well, if you can't manage the whole week, maybe just a day or two. No, it has to be now. They start tearing the farm apart next week. I'm sure. I'm sat right outside it now. I can see the sign. No, I already tried Claire. She's away partying at a festival. Jen's in Hong Kong on business. No, you weren't the last. I just thought, you know, with, with the kids and everything. Of course not. Look, oh, I'm sorry, Sally. Forget I asked. <laughs> Jake's gone away. And I just thought we could get the old gang back together. You know, for a bit of fun. Like the old days. Oi, detecting is fun. Look, <laughs> don't worry about it. I've... I've actually been thinking of asking Adam if he'd help. Yes, that Adam. I don't say it like that. You lot just never understood him. And, well, he's never let me down. Jake isn't here, is he? Besides, Adam's a friend. Nothing else. And despite what you all think, he is good for me. I don't need to ask anyone else for help. Trust me, I need Adam. I shouldn't have called, not at this hour. I ignore me, speak soon, yeah? Can't find anyone for help? Hey, Adam. It's me. Oh, look, I know it's been years, but I've got myself into a situation. I don't think I can handle it. Not on my own. That unfinished business at the farm? We need to finish it. Now. Hey, everybody. My name is Wellens, and welcome to the magnificent Truffle Pigs. This is a story about metal detecting in the English countryside. Okay. Adam, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Where are you? Don't worry, I'm close by. God, you weren't kidding about getting an early start. I was hoping we might have a lazy start to the week. Grab breakfast, mooch around, get reacquainted. But no. There'll be plenty of time to do that while we detect. Good to know these things are still working. They are, which is a surprise considering how cheap and nasty they look. Oi! These were the coolest toys money could buy in 2005. Haven't we grown out of toys? Oh, chill out. They'll do the job. Claire and I once chatted all the way across the valley with him. Grab the shovel and the trowel, then head out to the fields. Hurry up! You're missing a beautiful day! It is a beautiful day. Yes, yeah, so this is The Magnificent Truffle Pigs. This is by the designer of Everybody's Gone to Rapture, which I haven't played yet, but I've heard of. But I'm mentioning it because some of you are probably more familiar with it than me. Immediately already very reminiscent of something like Firewatch. Because we're just talking to somebody far away on a walkie-talkie. We have Beth and Adam. And it looks like Adam is going to be doing all the manual labor while Beth is doing God knows what nearby. Okay, sounds great. We are metal detecting. Did Beth mention a ring in the beginning? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, isn't it amazing up here? It is. These views are incredible. I'm so glad you're here, Adam. Still can't quite believe it. A whole week with no distractions. Hmm, they have a little dialogue system, huh? I was wondering why they made me click on the continue. Your detector's over by the gatepost. Right by the fields, you'll be scouring first. Okay. 
Yeah, we gotta pay attention then. We don't have that much time to reply. This is beautiful. Is that my car? Okay, okay. Just checking out my car. Oh. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just look in. Look in. I've never used a metal detector before. Do they usually look like this? It looks like some kind of a lawn mowing device. <laughs> Just switch it on and walk around. As soon as you get close to anything metal, it'll beep like crazy and light up. Mm. And then what? That's it. Just turn it on and everything will make sense. You make it sound idiot-proof. Oh, guess we'll soon find out. Hey. Touché. Oh, we're gonna have fun this week. Now, serious for a second. I usually work in straight lines, rather than randomly walking around. It's easier that way. Okay, you're the boss. For once, I'm not the boss. Now, let's see what you can find. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. Walking in straight lines. E. E. Oh, it's got a battery, so I can't keep it on all the time, I guess? Oh, I walk slower when I have it on like that. Let's test and see if it works. We got a gigantic metal hunk here. The detector lies! <laughs> you didn't think I'd do that, huh? Okay, earlier in selecting the responses, it felt like I couldn't use the mouse wheel or WASD. I had to use the keyboard arrows. I'm gonna have to confirm that once we see another choice here. Okay, should we start with the perimeter of the place? I don't know. I'm walking very, very slow. Because I'm sweeping this thing around. Or maybe we should... Go to spots of interest, like that gigantic rock over there. Is it a ring? What we're looking for? They seem like they are pretty good friends. Right off the bat, Beth and Adam. Even though they haven't seen each other in a long time. That's good, that's good. Although, all of Beth's friends don't seem to feel that way. Got some tires here. Okay, yeah, we can walk faster like that, but, I mean, I'm trying to find something, right? If I'm gonna- oh. Oh? It's- you found something! It's underground, so you'll need to dig it up. This is fancy digging. Just use that same shovel, man. <laughs> Oh, a coin. Okay. Like a penny? I can't even tell. It's so dirty. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it meant take a screenshot. My first find, and it's money! Oh, wow. Good work. Please, send me a photo. First find, but we'll find something way more impressive before this week's out. You sure about that? You scoured this place as a kid. Not much has happened here since. We could go anywhere, but you insist on staying here and standing. I don't get it. Come on, you know why. Earring. That earring? The best thing I ever found. The other one is definitely here, and I want to find it. That earring? You can't be sure the other one's here. It is. Always has been. Don't care what anyone else says. Last time, it wasn't just a lucky find, you know. You're not going to drop it, are you? This obsession of yours. <laughs> that earring changed my life. Okay, I was only a kid, but it changed everything. Still makes me smile thinking about it. The money seemed like a lottery win back then. And being in the papers, being the centre of attention, it was nice. You, we could have done this years ago. Why now? I asked Farmer Hobbs so many times, but he always said no. 
Maybe he thought he could find the other earring for himself. But not this time. Well, he couldn't really, could he? Not now that he's dead. Just when you were starting to think the day would never come, he goes and dies. Surprised you didn't help him on his way. Oi! No! It wasn't like that. He passed away. His hair's sold up. And next week, they start installing a solar farm. So this is it. The last chance for more fame and fortune. It's the last chance to find that earring. I don't care about the money or being in the news again. No, I just want to... It felt so good last time. I don't think I've ever been as happy. But we should crack on, just in case the builders arrive early and turf us off. You mean, I'm not supposed to be here? Oh. No, oh, relax, Adam. I bet no one even notices you. Is it really about the earring? Or is it more about an excuse to uh, hang out with an old buddy? Oh, what, Beth? Hey, I've drawn a map for each field. I like to mark locations where I found something. And it's handy if you put your detector down, wander off, and then forget where it is. The text is flying by a little bit too fast. Okay, got you. Oh, it updates as I'm walking too, that's cool. Alright, cool. Well, we keep walking around then, right? Do we really have to be this low, though? It doesn't seem like it's that sensitive. Or, uh, I mean, it is sensitive. So as we get near something, hopefully the thing will turn green and... This is just a normal beeping sound. So why is... Why am I the only one doing manual labor again? Oh. I got you. The day is gonna waste away. It sounds like we're gonna be here for a full week. Car keys? Somebody's car. Bit of a weird looking key. I guess it doesn't have to be a car key. It's a key that says car on it. I think it's an old car key. My granddad used to keep a copy. Okay. Uh, is there a way where we can check out... Mm, as far as I can see, no. Oh! Looks like I might have found a bug here. If I open the pause menu, I can't do anything anymore. Let's avoid opening the pause menu. But yeah, I didn't get to read the rest of Beth's message. It flew by a little bit too fast. Oh. I thought it would be harder to find stuff, but there's so much random stuff in this plot of land that it's actually kind of easy for us to um, find something. Is it what we're trying to find? Maybe not, but it's easy to find something. My first bit of jewelry! Doesn't look that great. What do you think? Just zooming in on your photo, hold on. Looks like half a sweetheart locket. Not precious. Nah, sorry. Just some cheap metal. And it's broken. Literally a broken heart. Mm. Speaking of broken hearts... Mmm. Seems odd that Jake isn't here. You were inseparable once. We're engaged, not joined at the hip. Yeah, but still... He's gone away with his annoying rugby friends for a few days. That's all. I'll be back soon. Maybe you should text him. Let him know he's missing out on all this fun, right? Maybe. And he is missing out. He's got no idea how much he's going to miss out on. Missing out, standing in this searing heat, burning under the sun. Oh, the shade on a sunny day. I can feel it just by standing under this tree. Oh! Oh, you took a picture with the metal detector! Did you hear about the wind turbines? What about the wind turbines? So, two giant wind turbines have just been erected. Where are you going with this? Well, 
if you give me a minute, two wind turbines have just been installed. The first one thinks, oh, we're going to be neighbours for years. I should break the ice. So it turns to the other one and says, hey, uh, what kind of music are you into? And the second wind turbine says, I'm a huge metal fan. That's awful. <laughs> Don't give up the day job. <laughs> mm, right now, this is my day job. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> I'm liking the voice acting and the little interactions, but every single time, we basically have to stop dead in our tracks. I wish we could look around while that's happening too. Oh, there's so much stuff here. What is it? Oh, a lot more digging for this one, huh? Some kind of like a coin at a... maybe a mall? A shopping cart token. I guess that counts as a coin. Oh, like for... hmm. We don't have these here. This is in England, right? Only if you're a shopping cart. Here in Canada, we have quarters that we put into the shopping carts to free them from the, the chain of shopping carts they're usually in. Quarters or loonies. Or, that's uh, one dollar. We have this gigantic rock here. What's this about? Take a picture? No? For some reason, this rock is fenced off. Oh, I completely forgot about the whole walking in a straight line thing. Oh well. Hey! I forgot to ask. Is your detector working okay? I think so. Why? Oh, it's my old one. The battery can be a bit temperamental. Your old one? You mean I've got your cast off? Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, afraid so. Yeah, Beth is probably using another one elsewhere. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna find more than you. I seem to forget. I'm a pro. You might have a flashy detector, but I have got a lucky one. You found the earring with this one, right? <laughs> I did. But that wasn't anything to do with the detector, just me and my hard work. Well, I guess whoever finds the most this week wins. <laughs> I like your ambition. Maybe we'll make a truffle pig of you yet. What even is a truffle pig? <laughs> what? A, a, a truffle pig? Oh, blame Dad. He started calling me a truffle pig because I could sniff treasure through all the mud. Oh, I loved that nickname. It became our gang name too. Me, Claire, Sally, Jen. We were the truffle pigs. Our detectors too. That's Truffle Pig 1 you're holding. You named your metal detector Truffle Pig? Oh, no, hold on. I'm beeping. What? Did you find something else? Oh, this false alarm. It was my crazy person detector going off <laughs> because it overheard you calling your detector Truffle Pig. Ah, oh, funny. Anyway, you already knew I was crazy. I think that's why you agreed to come here. Lured to an isolated farm by a crazy woman. And only one of them will leave. <laughs> I'm sure one of the truffle pig t-shirts Dad had made for us is still in my attic. I should dig it out. I hope you're not expecting me to be seen in one of those. Mm, no, I think you're safe on that count. They have pretty good rapport. Right, so Beth is somewhere else on the field. Let me look at the map again. Hmm. She's somewhere else. Oh, is a there's a shadow here suddenly. We don't have all day. It might actually be better if it's not as hot. Want a break for lunch? You detect him a storm must be out of juice. We can recharge it. Okay. Sure. Okay, meet me back at the car. This car is going to be so muddy by the end of the week. And try not to get crumbs everywhere. Wow, you really love your car, don't you? Uh-huh. So, how was your first morning of detecting? It's okay. It's fun, and I'm loving being outside. Thanks for inviting me. No worries. The gold and treasure we'll find will be a nice bonus. 
Are we going to pretend nothing's happened? What? <laughs> it's been so long and you're just pretending we've never been apart that nothing's wrong. Um, okay. Well, how's life been since we last saw one another? Shouldn't I be asking you questions, like why am I even here? And how come you're not at work? Your job always seemed to come before everything else. You were obsessed with it. I was. I, I am. But... But... I've been working like crazy lately. I thought I'd see how Mudderlot survives without me. If you insist. Mudderlot? Mudderlot. It's such a silly name. The company? <laughs> Mom asked me what I liked, and I said, I like mud. A lot. <laughs> Goes well with truffle pigs. Oh, I wish she was still here to see what she created. Her little outdoor equipment company. It's an empire now. We're the biggest employer in the valley, you know. Stanning would die on its ass without mud a lot. And when Dad retires, it's going to become your empire? Yep. Well, Dad'll probably put me in charge. I mean, I'm the eldest. Arguably the smartest. The most modest mud a lot, sister. Absolutely. Definitely the best at tree climbing. <laughs> you remembered. But yes, all of those things. Perfect CEO material. It must be mine, right? And you're sure about that? As good as. I know Dad's been impressed, always saying how proud he is. So yeah, I'm sure that's been his plan. But you've never discussed it. What if you're wrong? <laughs> I've been there longer than Lucy. It wouldn't make sense not to. And your dad agrees? Okay, dad hasn't said out loud, but it's always been the plan that I'd take over. You know, I thought we had plans once. We were a team. Till you ditched me. Forgot all about me. That's not fair, Adam. Or true. I never forgot about you. I never wanted you to go. I... I had to. Well, I'm here now. But you still haven't said why. Are we ever going to discuss it? Why I'm really here? We're here to find that earring. Not sit here eating sandwiches and Jaffa cakes all day. We should be fully charged again now. Come on, back to it. There is something Beth isn't saying. Well, maybe it's tough to say right off the bat. We will give her a little bit of time. But it is very strange that you don't talk to somebody for so long and then suddenly you hit them up and you're like, Hey, wanna go metal hunting with me? Oh, oh, oh. Alright, what do we got here? A little metal toy car. How about like that? Even I know what this is. Can some toy cars fetch a decent price? Nice find. Sadly, they're only valuable if they're pristine and boxed. A fancy model of car would help too. But you're definitely getting the hang of this. Speaking of fancy cars, I noticed yours is a bit flash. <laughs> Which is totally you. What do you mean? You never drive further than mud a lot. It takes two minutes, but you just had to have the flashiest car in the village. Hey, I work like crazy. I'm allowed to treat myself. I worked hard for that car. Treat yourself it is a box that you only use to drag yourself from home to work. One day I will go on a road trip. You can come too, but I might make you catch the bus for being mean. Fine by me. Anyway, I like buses. Being with other people, watching the world go by. Yeah? And what about the weirdo you always get on buses? Chatting away to themselves? <laughs> oh, wait! You are the weirdo! That's rude! Oh, you think I'm the weirdo? Mother lot, the outdoor equipment company. So Beth is pretty used to being outdoors then. She probably does this metal detecting business all the time. Wait, 
But outdoor equipment? Metal detector is not an outdoor equipment though, right? Is she talking more about stuff like... Tire swings? Workout equipment? Ropes? For... Mountain climbing gear? That sort of thing? Not metal detecting. <laughs> Ooh, how meta. It's a mini shovel, also known as a spoon. From a picnic or from a junkie? Why not both? Junkies might love picnics too. <laughs> Guys, at this rate, if you keep texting after every single thing, we're never gonna find that earring. Or does it even matter? How long has it been since Beth lost the earring? It's gotta have been like a freaking decade or something. Hey, let's check that out. This seems promising. Like take a picture or something. It's like a little mini garden thing. No. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that was the map. The map symbols creeping in. What the heck is this? It's like a pencil with a hook. Looks like a tent peg to me? Oh, I don't go camping. That's why I can't recognize it. <laughs> yeah, camping gear. Outdoor equipment. Yeah, looks like it. It's years since I've been camping. But you, at one point, it seemed like you lived in a tent. <laughs> I pretty much did when I was a kid. I'm just so busy now. Can't remember the last time. But I should. Just jump in the car and find somewhere nice to pitch up. With Jake? It'd be cozy, just the two of you. Far away from work and the stress. I guess I've just got into the habit of working. Like, all the time. Weekends <laughs> are... Well, they're not really weekends. Know how you feel, girl. It's all part of growing up. Being an adult, I guess. Says who? The Beth I used to know would take being in a field over being sat at a desk any day. Yeah? That Beth used to like banana sandwiches or the smell of bonfires on her clothes. <laughs> Face it, we've moved on. If we move on from our past, then why do we care about an earring that we've lost for like a decade, I assume? By the way, I noticed the battery level on the walkie-talkie has been going down. It's at two bars now. I wonder if that's going to be an issue. Is that supposed to be like Bethany or something? I don't know. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Whoa. A knuckle duster. What the hell have they been up to in these fields? Beth, not replying to me. Even though I was the one complaining about how they kept talking and talking. <laughs> Guys, gotta, gotta put some work into this, okay? Oh, wow, that's so picturesque. Are you kidding me? It's so beautiful here. I don't want to look at the ground. I want to look at the skies. Should we check out the other section here? It's a little bit... Yeah, hold on. Ah, we found a lot already. Yeah, let's let's get out of here. Move on to the second part. It might be easier, because we have a patch of, like, no green grass here. Because it's, like, the path that people walk on. Maybe on the edges here are the most common places where people drop stuff. Oh. Are you putting the dirt back in that hole? What is that? Just a rusty old hair club. Looks like you could have dropped it last time you were here. 
Oh, the battery's back. Cheeky git. It's old. 1950s, perhaps? Maybe it fell off as a couple were having a moment of passion. Oh, my. Surrounded by cows. Yeah, you have got a strange idea of romance, Beth. <laughs> and speaking of hair, I almost didn't recognise you this morning. Were you expecting me to still have those ponytails? Actually, I've just had it restyled. What do you think? What do you mean it's not for me to say? Yeah, I like it. I mean, I'm no expert, but it suits you. Thanks. I was getting a bit bored with old me, so I just had it caught on a whim. Old you? I just felt like I needed to, I don't know, become something else. I'm not sure a new haircut can do that, but it looks great. I guess I look a bit different now, too. You look exactly how I imagined you would. OK, that's enough hair chat. Go and find me something. Ideally, something more exciting than a hair clip. The battery charged back up for the walkie-talkie. They say girls only change their hair when something big happens in their life. Whether it's true or not, I wouldn't be able to tell you. <laughs> Anecdotally though, I feel like, yeah. Just wanting to change something. My guy, you gotta sweep a little bit bigger. This area you're sweeping is too small. Like, how close do I have to get? Oh, oh. God. What? Here we go. Oh, wow. Looks like it's come off a machine of some kind. Could it be a tractor pedal? Well, the tractor is probably broken then, my goodness. Why are all these big rocks fenced off? Are we scared somebody will ram into them or something? Huh, the metal detector is not working very well, is it? There's gotta be some metal here. It didn't detect the car! <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather look up. I'd rather look up. It's a be it really looks gorgeous. And I feel like I can feel the heat just looking around. There's a castle. Oh. That would make a great place to go detecting. I tried years ago. I found nothing. All you'd find is whatever the tourists have dropped. You say like it's a bad thing. Coins, phones, we could get rich quick. LOL. What about the parachutes we saw earlier? Maybe we could have taken a picture of those too. I'm totally going in straight lines. It's fine, it's fine. But yeah, I'm just enjoying the sights. As opposed to looking at the ground the whole time. Pin. Did Stanning have a big punk rock scene? Not sure if you're joking or not. Oh, it's a nappy pin for keeping nappies in place. Before all these disposable elasticated nappies, they used to pin them. Who'd change a nappy in a field? The farmer and his wife? Mrs. Hobbs. Oh, remember when she vanished? The baby, too. I remember all the mums gossiping about it. After that, Farmer Hobbs more or less lived like a recluse. Where did she go? No one knows. I mean, there were rumours. The school swirled with theories. A woman and her kids vanish, and we're just brushing it off as rumours and gossip. <laughs> oh, we were kids with overactive imaginations. 
It was probably just your regular, run-of-the-mill divorce. Breakups happen all the time, but <laughs> people love to gossip and speculate. Just like what you guys are doing. Was that really a nappy pin for sure, though? It looked like a regular pin to me. Ready to wrap up for the day? Sure. Yep, I need a hot shower and a nail brush. <laughs> me too. We've covered a lot of ground today. Well done. Oh, I've loved having you here. Can't hang around, though. Got to check out a venue for the wedding reception. The wedding? Oh. I thought... What, you asking me back here, Jake being away, <laughs> is it still going ahead? Um. <sighs> yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it? Jake's never been around when it comes to wedding stuff, has he? Doesn't mean anything. And you know what I'm like? Can't wait for him to make his mind up. And wedding planning really isn't his thing. Still can't believe you're getting married. Like I said, I'm getting on with life. Nothing and no one is going to stop me. Come on, I'll meet you back at the car. Sounds like she's trying to convince herself. I'm gonna move on. Is she actually moving on? Hmm. Tuesday, keep your eyes peeled. Okay, I think this is a good spot to... Or we'll listen Morning. to them talk some more. Different fields today. We'll try somewhere new each day. Cover as much ground as possible. It's all gonna be down to luck anyway. Luck? No, it's all about planning and hard work. And will I see a bit more of you today? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be close by. And we'll be talking a lot. Oh, and keep an eye out for a bangle. Mrs. Havers from the post office collared me, asking what I was up to. Turns out she lost a bangle here years ago. Is there a reward? Dunno. She got a bit teary-eyed talking about it. Her husband bought her it. Anyway, I doubt we'll find it. Happy hunting! Speak soon! So we have a bit of a cloudier day today. Maybe a slightly different... Yes, different field. These fields are huge. It's not just what we're looking at here. It's this entire expanse. I'll take a picture of that too. Your empire! Oh, it's mud a lot! Muddler HQ is still Dad's empire, for now. Surprised it hasn't burned down without me looking after everything. Okay, let's end off here for now. Um, I'm enjoying how beautiful this looks. Mm -hmm, and I'm really enjoying the banter between the two people too. But right now I do feel like there are some points where I'm kind of like, eh. like notably, whenever they talk, whenever they stop to have a chat, I gotta stop everything I'm doing. Like, there's no gameplay happening at all. I'm just looking around and I can't pick up my metal detector. I can't dig, I can't do anything. So that part feels a bit like... the story and the gameplay are really, really separated. And... yeah, like, little things here and there. The... the text going a little bit too fast, but then at other points, I'm also thinking, well, why do you even let me... skip a little bit faster when the difference is like, one second, literally. The little continue prompt after every single line. Is that really necessary? Or maybe just for the ones that have a choice in them? I do like what I've seen so far though. It's not like... Yeah, like I said, I enjoy this. The story seems like it's it wants to go somewhere. And I'm guessing we're not really going to get into the meat of it until we maybe get to Friday or so. We just went through Monday and now it's the beginning of Tuesday. And hey, the weather changes, huh? That's cool. Shading changes around here. Yeah, this was the first look of the Magnificent Truffle Pigs with Wellens. Feel free to let me know what you thought of the game in the comments section. And uh, I'm sort of interested in continuing. So if you want to see the rest of this, it seems like it's going to be pretty short. Do let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing. And I will see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!